This is Mirabella's Kitchen, and today I'm making fancy eggs in a basket. If you'd like to cook with me, please check the description below for a list of the ingredients and a shout out to my patrons. I'm back, and welcome to my new kitchen. It is 5.32 in the morning as I start filming this video. I, you know, gotta do what I gotta do. Wanted to make some breakfast and show you guys my new kitchen. I have a nice glass electric stove top, a nice deep kitchen sink. I have an island. I'm making what I've been told is called an Egyptian sandwich. Some research has showed it's called a one-eyed Egyptian sandwich. Sometimes they're eggs in a nest, eggs in a basket. So I'm calling it fancy eggs in a basket. We're gonna prepare some ingredients. We don't need much. We need eggs, we need butter, we need cheese, we need turkey, and we need bread. And we need a stove top with a frying pan. You can also use a griddle. I'm using large pieces of white bread, so thick pieces, not exactly Texas toast, but you could use that if you have it. I'm cutting some baskets, some holes in the center, and I'm gonna set that interior bread aside. We're gonna use it later. I'm using four pieces because I'm gonna do two per person for two people. I'm gonna heat my nonstick skillet over medium low to medium heat. I'm gonna put about maybe two tablespoons worth of salted butter in and let that start to melt and then add in the bread and let it get nice and brown. While the bread is toasting and Zuko does a little cameo, I'm gonna add in one large egg into the center of each basket. And we're gonna let that start to set the whites and start to cook the yolk a little bit. This takes maybe a minute to 90 seconds. After the whites start to set, I flip it. And I'm using boar's head because you can't go wrong with boar's head. I'm using American cheese because it's super melty and melts super quick. And I'm also gonna use some turkey. So you can either put the cheese right on top of the egg and toast and top with the turkey, or you can switch it up and put the turkey first and then top with the cheese. I recommend using two slices of cheese per slice of toast. And one to two slices of turkey, depending on how much you like. You can also use ham. Then cover it with a lid and let it steam for maybe 30 seconds. The cheese will start to melt, the turkey will cook through, but you don't want to overcook the eggs, so you gotta keep an eye on it. And then remove it, set it aside on a plate or on a cutting board, and cook the next two. This time I'm putting in that interior slices of bread that I cut out, I'm gonna toast them in the butter because then you can use them to dip later. And be careful flipping them. I recommend tongs, don't use your fingers. You can always add in a little extra butter if you're worried that you're gonna set off your smoke detectors. Um, I haven't done that here, but I've done that in the past. So uh, you can always add a little extra butter. You can do oil if you pr would prefer oil to butter, but it will give a different flavor profile. For a nice cross section, I opened up one of the pieces to show the lovely yolk funneling out of it. And that's fancy eggs in a basket. Thank you guys for joining me today. I make new videos on cooking every Thursday. Welcome to 2022 and I'm glad to be back.